Hi there everyone, uh, welcome back and we've got a very short video for you today. This is going to be about Excel and about sorting your data. So this is a really important thing to be aware of when you're using Excel. Um, the sort functionality is great in Excel as long as you use it wisely. So if you are um, selecting a single column, make sure that you expand that out before you do the search, uh, sorry the sort. Um, if you don't do that, then uh, it's what I refer to as an Excel shuffle sort and your data will effectively be shuffled and therefore useless and the results that you get from that will not be any good to you, you won't get any insights from that, it will just be random data. So uh, with that I'm going to show you uh, how to do it wrong and then I'm going to show you how to do it right and kind of talk you through, uh, through the problem. So enjoy the, uh, the video. So, uh, here I've set up a, uh, a typical kind of a set of data. Um, it's a very small set of data, obviously, just for the demo purposes. And we've got uh, two columns. The first one is product ID, and the second one is description. As you can see here, the uh, product description is egg, product ID is 1035, and that is consistent all the way down. The same for the spam and the bacon and the uh, all the other products have a product code um, and then you've got the product description that goes against it. We want that to be consistent throughout uh, so that we can then do some kind of report later to show how many eggs we sold, how many bacon, how many spam. So uh, that's what we use the spreadsheet for. Um, what you might want to do though is to sort it so that all of the eggs are together, all the bacons are together. So common scenario, we're going to uh, select this column and then we're going to sort the data. So we'll come to our sort and filter and we're just going to sort A to Z. Now, this is the pop-up that we need to be aware of. And this one is saying expand the selection or continue with the current selection. Uh, so if you have the current selection and you sort, you'll see that the this column here did not sort alongside the other one. Um, and but this one did so now we've got different product IDs for each of the bacons and again for the eggs those are all different product IDs so these no longer match uh, so if I undo that and if I now do select that column and again I'm going to go to sort and filter and I'm going to go sort A to Z expand the selection this is now sorting my bacon and egg and they've all got the right product IDs so if I undo that again, uh, what you're actually better off doing rather than letting Excel do this for you is do a control A before you start to select all. Uh, you can also uh, find select all on the menu somewhere. Uh, and this will then make the, um, the selection expand out. So if I then do a sort, um, it will pick a column and sort it, but all of the data uh, remains together. Um, and this is what we want. So if I was to uh, do that kind of shuffle sort and send you this spreadsheet, you might not know that I've done that and uh, effectively given you some random data. Uh, it's also worth pointing out Excel is not the only spreadsheet product. So if you're using different spreadsheet products, the, there may or may not be a warning depending on that, that product's uh, setup. I know certainly uh, older versions of Excel didn't always give this warning and it didn't always give these um, these defaults so it's worth knowing uh, and it's also something that's definitely worth checking for so before you actually use the data just make sure that it is uh, correct even better um, the source of the data will be coming out of some kind of a sales product just take that data and then use it for your reporting try not to do any human editing in the middle uh, if you do that do it on a copy just to make sure that your data remains intact so that's the end of, uh, of the video for today. Very short one, as I said, but quite an important thing. And it has come up recently with some customers where we couldn't work out why the data looked the way it, it looked. And uh, this, is, this is kind of the uh, explanation that, that we came up with. So thanks again for watching and uh, see you soon.